the question is how much of the f-series trucks are actually aluminum so i have two f-series trucks one is the f-150 it's a 2019 2.7 liter ecoboost and one is an f-250 it's a 2019 and has a 6.2 liter v8 and i wonder if there's any differences between the aluminum bodies i know they have very similar body panel but they're made in different locations i wonder if you know the cabs are actually different uh so i got this little magnet here and i'm gonna see how much of the body of these trucks is actually aluminum and uh you know if or if there's any difference between the two so let's start over here with the f-250 and i think ford you know the fords i don't know if we really give them enough credit for how much of these trucks are actually aluminum like it's not just fenders and door panels i believe the actual structure of the cab is entirely made from aluminum but we're gonna see how much that is or if there's any steel mixed in so obviously we can go across we can see our fenders are aluminum our doors aluminum but also our a pillars are aluminum which is a huge part of the structure of the vehicle actually aluminum uh so I mean we don't give it enough credit the entire structure is aluminum it's not just door panels or anything uh it's, it's an actual structure but let's look under the hood at the uh firewall here it's not a whole lot of access to get into there just a little bit right there uh looks like the firewall is aluminum as well um right here this is actually steel so this structure right here is actually steel in the uh, F-250. Pretty interesting. But this truck, so here you have steel connected to aluminum right here. So this part's steel. Then this here is aluminum. So there's an aluminum plate riveted to uh, steel. The actual rivets are are aluminum in this case and let's see here steel here aluminum here on the back firewall aluminum fenders bolts are steel pretty interesting the hood all aluminum you get a little bit of magnetic pull on the rivets that hold uh, things together. Pretty, pretty interesting. The bed, aluminum. Um, I don't know about the like inside of the bed here. The floor of the bed is aluminum. Tailgate, aluminum. Let's see, all aluminum. So the whole entire bed's aluminum pretty interesting uh, I wonder if there's anything underneath that we can look at so the actual floor pan of the truck I believe is aluminum uh, let's see all aluminum and that's where a lot of value is with these trucks because over the years this area here the rockers this area is where, it's, where corrosion is a big problem problem and aluminum is going to be a lot more resistant to uh, corrosion uh, compared to uh, steel which will rot away a lot quicker um, the frame steel and usually corrosion is not that big an issue on a frame until you're talking like 30 years down the road all right so that's it for the super duty let's check out the 150 and see if there's any differences in the cab I know they share a lot of body panels i mean the panels actually are unique to each truck but the interior dimensions are the same and it looks like honestly from here it looks like the super duty has a bigger hood than the f-150 see here i don't know looks like maybe there's more room under the hood of the super duty maybe to accommodate that big 6.2 diesel 
But anyway, let's poke around to see what uh, is all aluminum in here. So, starting off with the firewall. The firewall is aluminum. I actually thought before the firewall was steel, but maybe they changed it. Uh, but the firewall is actually aluminum. Uh, let's see here. This part of the truck, I don't know what you would call this structure, but this part of the truck in the F-150 is aluminum compared to the Super Duty, where that part's actually steel, and it does look a little bit different too. It's a lot thinner. The steel is a lot thinner than the aluminum. Like, it's more, it gives more room under the hood with the uh, Super Duty. So there is a distinct difference. Well, I don't know if it gives more room, but this structure is definitely different in the Super Duty, and it's actually steel, and it's aluminum in the uh, 150. Firewall, aluminum. This part's aluminum, different. Hood, all aluminum hood. Pretty interesting. Let's take a look at the, uh, well, we already know that the bed's aluminum. Uh, this doesn't have box link, but let's see here. All aluminum. All totally aluminum. Let's see. Poke underneath real quick. All aluminum. And uh, I think that's why the F-Series trucks are a better value. If you're going to buy something and be stuck in it for maybe 10 or 15 years, you, you want to know that it's not really going to rot away and rust. And I'm sure the aluminum will potentially corrode in some way, but you know it's just not going to rot away just like the steel bodies do. But uh, anyway, that's it for the video. Just some quick differences between the two. And looking at what components are all are aluminum and what components are not. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day and comment below. Bye.